All right, so we're going to continue on with significant figures, and now we're going to apply our counting significant figures towards multiplying and dividing. So when you're multiplying and dividing, you're going to calculate as usual, and then you're going to count the number of significant figures in each of the numbers that go into the calculation. And then you're going to round your answer to what's called to we call the smallest number of significant figures. So number of significant figures. That means you have to be able to count the significant figures in each of the numbers in your math problem. You can never have an answer that is more accurate or precise than the crudest measurement, which is the measurement with the least amount of significant figures. So let's take a look at some examples. So we have a multiplication. We do that, and this is what you get on the answer on the calculator. So you've seen this before, where you get all these numbers on a calculator, and you say, where do you round? So we have to be able to count significant figures in order to figure that out. So decimal point is present, start at the Pacific. I'm not sure why you always get that. Decimal point present, start at the Pacific. Oops, just, there we go. And so now there's one, two, three, four significant figures, and one, two, three, four, five significant figures. So I need this answer over here down to four significant figures. So then right now there's one, two, three, four. I need to get rid of that after the zero. Sorry, new stylus, I'm still getting used to it. So now I'm going to look over here to the right of that number, and that's a nine. So that's going to get rounded up to 33.51. In our next math problem, we get 28.14. So then we have to count our significant figures. Decimal point present, start at the Pacific. I don't count zeros unless I have a counting number first. So now I start counting here, and then everything afterwards counts. One, two, three. Decimal point is absent, so I go the other direction. And then I don't count that zero. Now I have a four, I can start counting, and two significant figures. So I need this number to get down to two significant figures. So I have one, two, and now those are the two significant figures places. So now I need to cut that number off. And so since that's a one, I do not round up. I'm gonna leave that at 28. Now in this division problem, look at all those numbers. That's crazy. But look at how, you know, the numbers that go into this calculation, this one has four significant figures and this one has three. Right? If you need to review how to count significant figures, right, see me for some extra help. So I need to get this one down to three significant figures. So I need those three spots. So that means I need to cut this off here. So since this is a nine, that means I'm going to round that six up and then that's going to be 10.7. Now the next two are a little bit trickier. So here's the answer to that calculation problem, but this answer has four significant figures, and this one also has four significant figures. But right now, this one only has one significant figure. So I need it to match the least number of significant figures of the problem. So it has to match with at least four significant figures. So right now there's only one, but I know that these don't count as significant, but this does. And once I start counting anything forward in this direction, right, is going to still count. So I'm going to add another. So now I have one, two, now three, and four significant figures. So then now here's my answer to four significant figures. So remember, these are indicating information about the numbers that went into the problem. They are not arbitrary zeros. And now this one is a little tricky because now I have three significant figures, I have four significant figures, and now I have three significant figures. So I need to get this down to three significant figures. I'm not going to cut this off because that's not a decimal point. I still need to keep the same magnitude. It has to still be around 25,000. So then when I do this, right, since this is a two, that six is gonna stay the same. So I'm gonna have two, five, six, but I can't round, you know, 25,625.6 to 256. It still has to be in the same ballpark. So then I'm gonna do two zeros.